Welcome to a new patch creation. This time I'm going to show you how to make an Atmos sound like this on the blowfield. First we start with an initial sound. Like this one. As you know, I don't like the velocity so I turn it off. Of course you can keep it on if you want. And we're going to start with a bit of texture of the sound. And um, the most important things for an Atmos sound are noise, resonance and a lot of reverb. So we're going to start with the noise. You can find it here. Keep the level completely to zero. We're going to make it just the balance to um, filter 2 because we are going to use filter 1 for something different and uh, the level will be controlled by another envelope later. Okay, so filter 2 has no key track. It is a high pass 12 dB type with a cutoff of 77. A lot of resonance. And a bit of modulation by the filter envelope. Minus 55. So that you get a nice filter sweep later. The filter envelope needs a decay of 93 and also a release of 93. We can also set the amp envelope to 77 on the attack and the release on um, 88. So you see we have um, quite high values for the envelopes so this sound will be very slow, very slowly developing. And if we are going to set envelope 3 as the amp envelope for the noise, keep it ADSR mode, attack on 98, decay on 102, no sustain and a lot of release. Of course we don't need decay 2 and sustain 2 because we have just ADSR but the release will be 97 and you still can't hear anything because we have to root the envelope 3 to, to the noise level like this. And now we have a nice noisy filter sweep. And of course you can set this amount higher or lower just like um, just as you like it. Okay and uh, the second part of the texture is a high frequency twinkling sound in the background and because I need oscillator 1 and 2 for wavetable things I choose oscillator 3 which has just these classical analog style waveforms in this case triangle we choose a very high octave range of a half foot. Also the balance completely to filter 2. And for this twinkling sound we don't need any key track. And no pitch band range. This is what it sounds like. I turn the level down. 27 is absolutely enough. 
Okay, so this high frequency noise is um, a bit annoying. So use the LFO one with a sample and hold speed of 64 and modulate the frequency of oscillator 3. So you hear this computer-like sound a bit. Just play around with the values. Okay. 35 is a bit better, so let's take 35. And uh, this is the texture now. We need some bases. And as I said before, I need oscillator 1 and 2 for wavetail things. So. Um, Let's choose a nice wave table here, like for instance 54. Of course you can try other wave tables with maximum level, octave range 8. To filter 1. And we are going to modulate the pulse width parameter, which is actually the, the wavetable parameter, but it's just called pulse width, with an amount of 56. And we are going to modulate it with LFO2. Okay, filter one settings. Okay, um, keep the the filters in parallel. By the way, okay, filter one settings. We have a low pass with twelve dB. Cut off is fifty four. Just a bit of resonance, 10, and a bit of filter envelope amount here, 37. And for later use, we are going to make the drive curve tube. Okay, LFO2 is still a bit too fast. So first we change the shape to triangle to have a linear modulation. And we are going to lower the speed to 13. Okay. And the filter envelope is also modulating the filter one resonance. So that we have another resonance sweep here. And we can use the last LFO for a bit of vibrato. Speed of 40 is okay. Another entry in the modulation matrix. LFO3 to the overall pitch with the amount of 15. Okay. 
Okay. And now some mod wheel magic. I want to fade between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2 with the mod wheel. So first we set the parameters for oscillator 2. Also a nice wavetable. In this case I choose 51, which is a nice robotic sounding wavetable with a lower octave. And we set the level completely to the minimum because um, we want um, oscillator 1 to sound exactly when the oscillator 2 is quiet so that we start with a low level here and a high level here. Okay, but all other settings are exactly like for the oscillator 1. For instance, the filter balance, the pulse width, the modulation amount, the source LFO2, yeah, and we can set the rest of the modulation matrix entries. So the mod wheel is controlling the filter drive of filter 1 here, just like this, amount is 40. Next entry is modulation wheel modulating oscillator one level negatively so that when we raise the mod wheel um, oscillator one will be totally quiet and the opposite for modulation entry seven For oscillator uh, 2. This means that um, when we raise the modulation wheel, oscillator 2 will be louder. Okay. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Mod wheel up, mod wheel down, mod wheel down, mod wheel up. Okay. And now a bit of um, a nice trick. I want to have a, a stereo sound, but I don't want to use um, the delay for it, because we need it for reverb, as I said it before. But we can do a nice um, stereo panorama by using the unisono, which is here. Just make um, two voices and just uh, bit of detune 25 will do the job okay and now you can change the panorama setting with the modulation matrix you can choose unisono v to filter one panorama and it will pan the two voices totally left and right and also for filter two this is what it sounds like <laughs> Thank you. 
Notice the twinkling sound on both sides. Okay, and last but not least, the effects. I choose for effect 1 the phaser. To get this um, underwater like sound. Slow speed of 10, depth of 70, denture is just 42 spacing will be 35 quite high feedback and positive polarity this is what it sounds like So you may notice this additional creamy sound. And of course the reverb. High diffusion. shape decay is okay damping of 90 and this is the complete sound Tell me what you think about it, leave a comment, like or dislike me and yes, thanks for watching and have a nice day.